Hey everyone, welcome to Ben's Experience. In this video, I will show you how to remove Squarespace from the URL. This is squarespace.com and first I need to log in to my account by filling my email address and password here. Click on this website button below the Squarespace site you want to remove Squarespace from its domain name or URL. Go to settings, then click on domains and email and click on domains. The basic of this tutorial is that you should add a domain name or a paid domain name, for example, your website.com to your Squarespace site. This way, instead of using this domain name or this uh, built-in domain with the Squarespace in the URL, you will use your uh, domain name, for example, benztestinghosting.com. If you don't have a registered domain name, you can get one from Squarespace. It is better to get it from Squarespace for easy uh, linking. In my case, I already have my domain name registered on Hostinger, so I will select it just like that. Then click on use a domain I own. Fill in your domain name just like that. Click on this arrow. I don't want to transfer my domain name, so I will connect it. Select your domain provider. In my case, I'm, I will look for Hostinger. I don't see Hostinger, so I will go with other. Click on connect domain. Click on continue. Now, what you need to do is to go to your domain registrator or provider, in my case, Hostinger, and add this information or DNS settings to link my domain name with my Squarespace site in order to remove the Squarespace from my domain or my site URL. So I will go to Hostinger, click on my domain name, go to DNS settings first i will remove these existing dns settings just like that i will keep deleting the last one now what i need to do is to go to manage dns records and start as you can see the type is c name so i will select C name from this list, fill it here. Now the required data should be in the target and for TTL leave it as it is. Click on add record. I added the first record. Repeat the same thing with the second DNS setting. This is For the type is C name and the value or the target is this one. Click on add and a If you want to become a pro on Squarespace, I recommend you joining my university today for free in order to get access to this Squarespace online course. Inside this course, you can learn many things, including how to get started with Squarespace, how to design and customize your website, also some advanced customization and features, how to optimize for your website for mobile and user experience, how to manage and maintain your website, and also advanced tips and best practices. To get access to this Squarespace online course for free today, plus all of these online courses, and also the upcoming free courses in my university, just go to university.bainsexperience.com, link in the description. Without any further ado, let's go back to our tutorial. Even though I have the same A record, just confirm your selection or your addition.
Now that I've added all the DNS settings from Squarespace, let's refresh records. And as you can see, all of these DNS, DNS settings are found except this one. Now all of them are in red. Let's view my site, even though I'm sure I think I have an error in my certification. Even though I know that there are an error with my certification, don't do anything. Just keep waiting because a DNS changes usually takes hours to take effect. So now don't worry if your website is still inaccessible. It can take up to two full days. So just keep waiting and refreshing your website in browser. And it is better to do it from a an, uh, an different device, for example, a smartphone, and also from a different internet to avoid cache settings or cookies. And just like that, your Squarespace site will be accessible from this new URL that does not have Squarespace. Don't forget to give this video a like and also subscribe. Thank you.